This is chapter 15, and I'd like to discuss compound interest, which is basically interest paid on interest. So in this example, you make one initial deposit. You make one initial deposit of $1,000. You have an interest rate for the period of 6%, and the number of periods, are, how many years are you, are you going to invest? And that's 10. So you can see our little equation up here, the compound sum is the beginning deposit of $1,000 times 1 plus the interest rate, 6%, take it to the nth power. Uh, and that actually comes out to this figure right here, which is your factor. In fact, if you go to table 15.1 and look for the chart, all this can be explained. So you don't have to do this, this equation and take part of it to the nth power. But what you're saying in this situation is I've got $1,000. I'm going to put it into the bank. The bank's going to give me 6% on it, and I'm going to leave it there for 10 years. So what happens to that, that initial deposit of, of $1,000? And what it does is your initial deposit times the 1.06 to the nth power gives you this factor of 1.7908. So... If you go into the table, you'd actually see that. The 6% table uh, would give you this factor, multiply it times your initial deposit, and that'll give you, at the end of 10 years, your $1,000 has grown to $1,790.85. Once again, uh, you don't really need to use this equation. Just go to the table and look for it. If you're out in real life, look for a table to give you some factors or get a financial calculator or use Excel and it'll help just the same. So that's a compound interest. So here's another example of investment and it's a compound sum of an annuity. And what that means is you're gonna make regular payments. In the other scenario, we put $1,000 in one time and we let our 6% interest grow on the interest earned and it came out to $1,700, basically. In this case, we have a more extravagant equation. And what it's saying is that I'm going to do a regular deposit of $1,000 at 6%, and I'm going to do that 10 times. So each year, I'm going to put $1,000 in. And how does this accumulate my interest? So I'm, I'm earning interest on my initial deposit plus the interest earned over that 10 years. So what actually happens, and back... Then again, too, go back to the table at 15.1 and look at that for the annuity factor. So this is for annuity. So you've got regular deposits. All right. I'm not just depositing $1,000 one time. Every year I'm putting in $1,000. So over the 10 years, how does my regular deposit of $1,000 grow at 6% interest depositing 10 times? So what you'll do is just is just use this factor, multiply it by your initial investment, and that'll come up with your end return on your annuity. So let's do this. Uh, that equals a thousand dollars times my factor. So after ten years, my regular thousand dollar deposits at 6% interest will earn me $13,180.80. So that's compound sum of an annuity. So that's regular deposits over a period of time.